What's going on everyone? This is your host Manik and in this video, let's have a look at Carbon OS ROM for OnePlus and other devices. And I do have some interesting observations regarding this one, especially for those of you who want better battery life. So stick around till the end to know more. And before we get into it, do make sure you click on that subscribe button and press the bell icon next to it, so that you can be the first one to know when a new video arrives. So the instructions to flash this one is at the end of this video and it might vary for rest of the devices. Let's start off with the features I like the most. And what is new with this one, apart from this cool looking boot logo, the setup process was a bit different and it was even easier to set up than other rooms. And this one does not contain gaps or anything, so you will have to flash those manually. Honestly, you won't find a ton of features in this one, but whatever is there, it is more than enough for a standard user. So here are the customizations available. First of all, there are no apps from Oxygen OS, like gallery or camera, so that's a bummer. And you don't even get DC dimming with this one. But you can customize alert slider and toggle its shades. And as I said, only those things are there at the moment that were much required. And the main focus is on stability. In this carbon fibers option, you get all the tweaks. In system settings, you can add shortcuts to the power menu, turn on charging animation. But the main good thing is the focus on battery backup per charge. So that is why you get the smart pixels feature that disables a number of pixels as per your choice. And in scenarios where you have to use the device but want maximum juice out of it, this one helps a lot. You also get aggressive battery options to get even more juice per charge. Though, this will lead to a delay in notifications, but it's alright if you want the maximum backup. And in my time with it, I did not feel the need to use these options. I will come back to that battery part later. In status bar options, you get some important tweaks related to quick settings and status bar. So nothing new in that. Under lock screen settings, you get the option to customize lock screen shortcuts and a good security option like scramble keyboard. So no one will ever know your password. Wink wink. Apart from this, we have usual button shortcuts and double tap to unlock and lock. We also get three finger screenshot option, but no long screenshots or anything. You do get a basic always on display though. You also get some themes and phone styles in customization settings and I guess they are enough for most of the users. Apart from this, the heat up was also bare minimum with standard usage and the optimization has been done quite well with this one. And here are the Geekbench scores. So for single core, I got a score of 515, which is more than average. And also for multi core, I got a score of 2282, which is more than average of 2212. And if you look closely, it is more than average score of 60 which is great. So you get the idea about how well the system is optimized, right? In case you were wondering about the gaming performance, well it has been good so far. And I did play PUBG for like 20-30 minutes in a stretch and the temperature reached around 40 degrees at max, which is alright though there were some frame drops, but nothing major that will impact your day to day tasks. And the battery life has been phenomenal too. On the first day itself, I got around 6 hours and I was not sure if that was really the case. So I tested it for a few more days and I could easily manage more than 6 hours with 20-30 minutes of gaming and sometimes close to 7 without gaming. To be honest, I haven't got this much screen on time with any ROM so far. So this is the main strength of this ROM. Coming to the things that I don't like about this one and first would be the absence of OnePlus apps. Second would be too little customization and third would be the battery percentage in status bar toggle that does not work as of now. Plus there is no phase unlock too. And there isn't much to complain because most of the things do work just fine. So you will have less to complain and lots to love. So this was the review of Carbon OS. And now let's see how you can flash this one on your device. The process is really simple. Just follow along and you will be good to go. So first of all, remove all the lock screen password and reboot your device to deploy your recovery. Now go to wipe and swipe to factory reset. After that, flash the latest version of Oxygen OS. So go to install, choose oxygenos.zip file and swipe to flash. And after that, flash the latest twrp.zip file. And after it is done, 
reboot to DWRP recovery once again and repeat the same process. That is, flash OxygenOS10.zip file and TWRP.zip and reboot to TWRP recovery once again. Now go to install and choose the zip file from this time and swipe to flash it. Once it's done, you have successfully flashed the ROM. So after flashing the ROM, reboot to system and then you can flash latest nanogaps.zip and you are done. So enjoy the overall experience and do let me know what you feel about it in the comment section down below. Lastly subscribe for more videos and do like this one if it helps you out and I'll see you in the next one.